Hey, what's up, MMC Nation, Swarma Nation, MMC family? Welcome back to WWE My Career Mode with your boy, Jeff, and Jeff Millennial, whatever side he's on. Getting back into some action, guys. Big episode last time out. Jeff Millennial facing off against AJ Styles in that Hell in a Cell match. Tag team, of course, with Kevin Owens and Kane. And it was just, uh, what a good one. I enjoyed it. I hope you guys did. Starting you off a little different this time. As you can see, I'm already in the back getting ready to go see what this week has to bring. We ended off that episode with a solid promo. And, of course, hearing from Triple H and Daniel, Daniel Bryan, that guy, the guy everybody loves in WWE. All he had to say was, we want to push you, man. You're looking good. We're happy to see it. Let's see what the action has to bring here. So this is actually week two in April. And we're going to see what Jeff Millennial has in store for us. Or at least what the WWE creative has in store for Jeff Millennial. So we're going to walk by here. No, I, I don't got time for you guys. Let's go talk to Todd Mullen. He told us to come back this week and see what is in store for us. What is in the plans? What do you got, Todd? Jeff's ready to fight tonight, baby. All right, what do you got? About the new maelstrom we're blasting you into. What do you got to say? Lay it on me, Todd. You can definitely talk the talk. Ain't no one doubting that here. From Vince on down. Oh, Vince is showing us respect. Well, he better respect your boy. But we need you to walk the walk tonight. We're putting you in a battle royal with a ton of guys. We think you can make it to the next level. Myself included. Naturally, try to stand out in the crowd. Win the match is our objective. <sighs> it's like a battle royale like Fortnite. Is that what we're doing here? All right, guys, SmackDown Live. Let's get into some action here. Jeff Millennial, as you just heard from Todd Mullen, going into a battle royal. Not ideal for us. Battle royals typically have guys having to pay attention to multiple people and not being able to potentially get the pin. Unless it's over the top battle royale. We are in Hartford, Connecticut tonight. Are these guys ready for the man? For Jeff Millennial? Like, we don't even know who we're going up against. We don't know nothing about this match. Oh, there you have it. Now we know. AJ Styles, for some reason, is in this battle royal. We got Mojo Raleigh, who I thought went to Raw. Fandango's here. Sin Cara. Or potentially Kalisto. I'm pretty sure it's Sin Cara. And Rusev Day. So we got a pretty, pretty half-decent roster here, of course. I mean, the phenomenal one as the WWE Champion is kind of the big one. But this match could go very, very wrong. Um, you know, guys getting pinned is always possible if it is that way or if it's the over the top. You got to stay strong in this match. And with Jeff Millennial being kind of in that like 66 to 68, I believe we are overall, it's going to be hard to compete again. But no excuses. You got to come out. You play to win the game, as Chef Tom and I like to say. So we're going to have to bring our A game tonight. Let's see, as the thing says above Battle Royale, the truth. Can we finish it? Can we make it happen? Out first? Is it? Is it? Is it? Oh, oh, oh. I think it's the man. I think it is the man. Jeff Millennial. Oh, that's AJ Styles. No, 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 no. It's the Millennial one. Jeff Millennial getting ready for his potential new push here on SmackDown Live. He's a heavyweight. He's from Ontario. He's at the Millman Cave. Have you followed yet? Go check it out. There he is. He's getting ready to go, guys. We have to be pumped up for this match right now. If we don't bring our A game, if we do not perform to the highest ability, we're going to get sent home. They're going to tell us, man, like, you don't belong here. Or we're going to end up like a jobber, and that is not what Jeff Millennial is about. That is not what he does in all the sports he plays. This guy is a monster. Whether it be in FIFA, whether it be in Major League Baseball, whether it be in NHL, whether it be anything that this guy sets his mind to, and I mean, it doesn't matter what it is. Any sport. In Madden. Didn't matter. This guy brought his A game. And that can't change in the ring. In the squared circle, this guy needs to bring it. Like The Rock, just bring it. And that's my message right now, and what I hope Jeff Millennial's message is for everybody in this battle royale. He's confident, I can tell. I'm just looking at it right now. He feels good, and it is time to get to this match. We'll give everybody a quick second here. Okay, Jeff, look. Yeah, you look great, bud. You look great. All right, Fandango. We're going to skip that. We know who's there. Uh, who's next? Who's next? Take a guess. Uh, Mojo Raleigh. Is it Mojo? Is it Mojo? Maybe. Maybe Mojo? Am I right? Is Jeff Molino right? Come on. Come on. Like, why am I still looking at Fandango? Let's go. I'm ready to get this match. Oh, yep, yeah, it's Mojo. All right, Mr. Hypro. He's in the match. 
Uh, who's that leave us with? So we got, uh, potentially AJ. The lights go down. No, it is Sin Cara coming out next. So we did call that originally. It's not Kalisto. Next, Rusev Day. I'm assuming... Nope, it is the phenomenal AJ Styles. Does he still have his title? My question mark is, why is this man in a battle royale when you're the champion? It, no, he's still the champion. I see that belt around his waist. The phenomenal AJ Styles. Still champion for some reason in the battle royale. And of course, that leaves us off with probably one of the most over people in WWE right now. Rusev Putie, Rusev Machka. Boom, there he goes. Okay, the Bulgarian Brute getting ready to get this match started. Oh gosh, here we go. Here we go. Is this the time we finally see the Phenomenal and the Millennial one? Nope, nope, it looks like, yeah. No, no, yeah. Oh yeah. Jeff Millennial is going to get in some... Oh, no, no, no. Nope. Fandango attacked Jeff from the side. He was not ready for that. I don't appreciate this, Fandango. Now you're going to find yourself getting hurt, buddy. You're going to find yourself getting very hurt. Back and forth. Oh, Jeff, Jeff. Oh, knee to the head. Knee to the head. Gets the reversal going. Now it's my turn. Picks him up. Drops him down. Big suplex. Way to get started here. We got to set a tone here. We definitely got to get this thing going. Now, it looks like guys are trying to get guys over the ropes. So, oh, there's the knee to the face. Rusev is out. Rusev is officially out of this match. And now we need to make sure that we know that we don't get close. Oh, and he hits him with the backstabber. Oh, and Jeff Lionel with the running senton. Oh, and Mojo Raleigh right now trying to get in Jeff Lionel's face. So, Rusev Day still not getting the push. He probably, oh, Sin Cara is giving Jeff Lionel some problems right now. Get off me, bro. You don't know nothing about Jeff Millennial. Come on, Jeff. You got to get up, bud. You got to get up. You can't be taking this right now because we cannot be getting thrown out. There we go. Boom. Times it perfect. Hits him with that jawbreaker. Oh, no. Jeff Millennial's out. Jeff Millennial. How is that even possible? Oh, my Lord. How did he reverse me over the ropes? Time for the action. Let's get into it. Jeff Millennial, uh-oh, he wants to go after Mojo Raleigh early. He sees him wearing these, what are they, Zumba pants, Zuma pants, whatever they are. No, that's a non-gi, that's a fashion statement issue. You should go have a conversation with Fandango, the fashion police. Jeff Millennial dropping a massive vertebraker, and he gets the big turnaround slam, but apparently he missed. Taking a little damage there to the sternum. You want to get up, Jeff. This is an over-the-top match. You want to get up. Oh, and Mojo... Starts getting the big clothesline on Jeff Millennial right now. This is trouble. This spells trouble. Oh, he gets him. Jeff Millennial, boom, plants him with a massive DDT. Mojo is going to be in trouble here. I am not dealing with Mojo's crap. A standing front drop kick. That's it, Mojo. That's it, Mojo. Oh, and Jeff Millennial kills him with a big clothesline. Sin Cara's here. Oh, go away, Sin Cara. Honestly, man, I don't got time for your crap right now. And he power bombs Sin Cara. what I tell you? I don't have time for your crap, Sin Cara. Don't have time. Toss him to the ropes. Turns him around. Oh, it's time. He's going to pick him up now. Jeff Lionel's going to start putting him. He's going to start putting him. He's battling it out. He's battling it out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sin Cara's battling back. And he's able to work his way out. Able to work his way out. But Jeff's not going to give up on him. Start getting that offense in there. And apparently he's so short, I missed every single one of those. That did not work out in my favor. Oh, and now he's about to reverse it. And he just whips me right through. So we're only at one star right now. So it's not a great match star-wise. But you saw our objective, guys. We have to win this match. And now Rusev turning at me. You know what, you Bulgarian brute? Now I'm going to whoop you, bud. Now you're going to get whooped. And he reverses it. He reverses it, but Sin Cara is able to almost save the day, I would say. Okay, you know what? You know what, Mojo? You know what, Mojo? I was trying to join in on that, but apparently it wouldn't let me. Jeff Leno picking up Mojo Raleigh now. And he smacks him down with that giant DDT. Jeff's going up top. And he hits him with a massive leg drop across the front of the chest. I, wa I, wanna, I wanna be out of that. I would like to be out of that. AJ Styles. Uh-oh, hold on. He's gone! Fandango has removed the WWE Champion from this Battle Royale match. What is happening right now, guys? This is absolutely insane. Jeff Millennial hitting a massive lion salt right in the middle of the ring. 
And Styles is outside. All he can do is watch right now. Jeff looking for the pickup. And he just throws him away. Get out of my face. Get out my face. As they say. Nice little standing missile drop kick again. He's going to pick up Mojo. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Going for the neck breaker. Boom, dropping him all the way through. Sin Cara starting to give me that look. I don't like it. I don't like it. You two fight it out. You leave me alone. Oh, Jeff Leno misses the move on Sin Cara. You got to get him now. Got to get him now. Big suplex. There we go. There we go. Jeff Millennial has to make the magic happen now. Oh, he's going for the signature. Going for the signature. Vertebraker. Sin Cara is in trouble now. He has to be in trouble here. Jeff Leno looking to take him to the corner. Could it be what we think it is? No, no. He's going to try and eliminate Sin Cara here and get down to the final two with Rusev. Is he gone? Sin Cara might be gone. Oh, he's out. He's out. We are down to the Bulgarian Brute and the Millennial one. This, this could be trouble for the Brute. He's coming in on Millennial here. What's going to happen? Throws him into the corner. Apparently, he takes a weird bounce off the... Oh, and he drops him down. That was a very weird bounce off the, uh, the corner there, the turnbuckle. Trying to get him to the corner. Why does he keep doing that? Dropping him down again. Maybe we've got to try a different corner? All right, hold on. Let's try toss him. Go to that corner. And he plants him with the giant DDT. That's what we need right now. We have to stay on Rusev. We have to. We cannot let the Bulgarian Brute start taking over this match. And he scoops him out. Going for the leg. The running senton, but missed. Rusev gets up here. He's punching Jeff Lane on the back. Big DDT again. We, we have to stay on top of him. Let's get going here. And now he's finally able to hit that senton. He's going to go for the springboard. And the massive lion salt. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Toss Rusev to the corner. Nice and easy. Okay. Okay, Jeff. You got to get him. You got to get him. He's tossing in some punches there on Rusev. He's laying the stomp in the mud hole. And he, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jeff getting right in there. Right in there. Causing a stink on Rusev. Time for a roll up. Time for a roll up. Jeff's stamina is too low right now. He's got no. Oh, no. He's going to do it. He picks up Rusev. He's turning him around. Neckbreaker. Boom. Dropping him all the way through. And Jeff going to appease to the crowd right now. Letting that stamina pick up. He's letting the stamina pick up. He has to hit Rusev if he can. Oh, Rusev turning over the top. He's turning over the top. He says no. He says no. He's going to give Rusev the chance. He has to finish this. He's got to hit him with the finisher. Throws Rusev to the corner. You got to get it. You got to get it, Jeff. You have to. He's got two finishers now. They won't let me do the corner finisher. All right, Rusev is fighting out. Rusev is fighting out. Jeff Lano just trying to put some time in. He's going to cancel it. He's going to cancel it. He's taking him out. He's taking him out. He's looking at the finisher now. Picks him up, twirls him around, and he drops him. Drops him down on the side. Rusev is in trouble. He is in trouble, guys. Can we try now? Oh, he tosses him over. Screw it. Jeff Lyle's going for the victory. And Jeff Millennial takes out Rusev. The winner of the Battle Royale. Ya boy. Look at these highlights. Boom. Hitting Sin Cara with the Vertebraker. Picking up Rusev. A little tilt-a-whirl slam almost, if you will. And just bye-bye. Bye-bye. He was told he has to win this match. Jeff Millennial won the match. Unfortunately, there's only three and a half stars, but there's a lot going on. These are difficult matches to win. And he did what he had to. The WWE Universe needs to be excited right now for Jeff Millennial and this potential for this kid's career. He's only going to get better. He's only going to get stronger. We got a great match. The drama was heightened, so we might have even pushed four stars there, which would be freaking awesome. That would be awesome. But... Let's see what Todd Mullen has to say. Hopefully we got on the right track. All right, Todd Mullen, what do you got for your boy? You don't look happy. You're shaking your head. What do you want from me? I won your battle royale. Way to pull that victory out. Well, uh, what can I say? The audience gave me a second win. That was a test of endurance, if nothing else. Whenever I feel about to drop, the audience lifted me with that second win. Good focus. It's easy to put your blinders on and focus only on your opponents. But real clarity is being aware of everything, inside and out of the ring. Ya boys got this. Not an easy feat, but my fans really know how to be loud and get my attention. You damn right you do. For any superstar, it's no easy task going against that bunch of guys. 
Use this momentum and go have a quick word with Renee. She'll have some words for you. Do we got another promo coming for your boy right now? Little promo? What do you say? Little promo? Little promo? Let's go see Renee. Renee, what do you got to say? I'm pretty sure you're on the way other side of the hallway. Hey, what's up, Harper? Buddy, I, I got I to gotta go shoot a promo right now. I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you later. We'll go for beers. What's up, Renee? Is this uh, Smackdown talk? Smacking talk? Welcome back to the show. This is my guest tonight. What's up, Renee? You came out on top in the Battle Royal against some tough competitors today. What can you attribute that to? When an opportunity arises, you grab it. When you want something, you got to grab it with all your power. There's no room for half measures. I leave that waste of effort to the amateurs. I saw a unique opportunity to stand out from the pack, and I did whatever I could to rise up. To do anything less would be to assure my own defeat. Listen here, Renee. This isn't simply a lesson for a superstar. This is a life lesson. You want something, you fight. There you have it. Back to you guys. It's a little quick one. A little quick one there for Jeff Millennial. All right. Now we're going to finish this one off, guys. We're going to go head off to the parking lot. And let's see what next week has in store for us. I know we left you guys a bit of a cliffhanger, but now we pulled off the big W. So let's see what we're going to have coming for us on the next one. What's up, man? Go get my car, please. I had, I had, a, I had a tough match tonight. I'm kind of tired. I want to go home. Go get my car, please. I'll wait here. Okay, okay. I'll meet you back here. Okay, cool. Thanks. All right, guys. We are back to the action. April, week three. Smackdown Live. Let's go see what Todd has to say. Here we have Don't Hinder the Gender. Another Canadian boy. What's up, Gender? What's up? Are you a jobber right now? I don't even know. We got uh, the Perfect Ten. Another Canadian boy right there. Natty. Let's go talk to up, up, down, down. What's up, Xavier? What's up, man? How's it going? Do you know who I am? I'm one third of the longest ever WWE Tag Team Champions. Do you know who you are? You can set records too. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm pretty sure you've told me that before. But uh, I appreciate the vote of confidence. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Let's go this way. Okay, so we have uh, Primo or Epico, one of these two. I never remember who they are. They're jobbers. And let's go talk to Todd. Todd, what is good in the hood for next episode before we leave our viewers? I want to throw you into a new promo tonight. After Ready after my last one? Yeah, I think it'll solidify the aura of energy buzzing around the WWE Universe. Let's make it a good one. Uh-oh. It looks like you guys are getting another one right now. Let's go in the promo. All right, all right. Smackdown Live. Let's get this going. Another promo for your boy. A little bonus coverage again, if you will, for you guys. You guys be getting spoiled, man. A little promo action. We really need to win this. We got to keep up this uh, good momentum, as he liked to put it, with the WWE Universe. All right, all right. There's your boy, Jeff Millennial. Heading down to the ring again. Ready for another promo. That's back-to-back -back episodes of promos, man. We are getting the apparent push that we deserve up in this match. Let, let's, 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 let's get it started. Jeff, what do you have to say to the WWE Universe? And who is stepping out? Because we have to win the promo. I will not stop until I'm the champion. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it. In Dante's Inferno, the only way out of hell is through... For me, the only way to pro proclaiming myself champion is by trudging through every battle and not stopping until I'm out the other side. I have a long climb, perhaps the longest I've ever known, ahead of me. I'm taking each step as I meet it, head on. Rusev is coming out to feud with your boy. Rusev Day and the Millennial One, eh? Okay. Okay, Rusev, what do you have to say, my dude? What do you have to say... Because I'm going to rip you apart, my friend. I'm going to rip you apart. Don't come in the ring. It's going to end up in a fight, bruh. And you don't want to fight me right now. Jeff Millennial is just, just ready to dominate. I will dominate you. Win this promo. We're going to win it. We're going to win it. Let's go, Rusev. I ain't got time for you, brother. You're taking a long time to get up them stairs. Long time. All right, let's get it. What's up? What's up? What do you got to say? Why do you got to come out and screw around with Jeff Millennial? This man is not someone you want to screw around with, Rusev. You may be the Bulgarian brute, but you know nothing about the millennial one. You're being completely fake. You don't mean anything that you, you're you saying tonight. Just blabbering what you think the WWE Universe wants to hear. Know what they really want, the truth. And tonight, I'm going to give them undiluted truth about you. One of the most fake superstars to come here.
None of that matters what's being said by anyone other than me. The WWE Universe knows the truth. They were watching me. They were cheering me on. No one can dispute that I was the winner or that I did it with an equal portion of grace and total domination. In the same way, they know my words are honest. What do you got to say, Rusev? Listen to him. Prattling on about absolute nonsense. You've accomplished nothing of merit. Instead, you stand next to people who are successful, who truly put in the effort necessary to achieve greatness, and you take the credit. Every time. It disgusts me. Don't you have pride, honor? Where is your shame? Some people can never be pleased with their lot. Take this man. This is the kind of man who will say anything, and it's not situational. He's just a talker. He will pipe up to get attention or to hide his personal responsibility or whatever. Don't put any stock in this bull and continue to ignore him entirely. What do you got to say, Rusev? What a vulture, this guy. I saw your methods last week. You waited until some others had weakened another superstar, then used that advantage to pick him off yourself. There you go, swooping on down, winning their hard work. Pathetic. But I get it, I get it. Going face to face with an equal, you'd lose hard. Yeah! My fans are as faithful as they are adoring, so I know that this victory is burned in their minds. I can already see from their light in their eyes that the moment it was over, they felt compelled to tell someone they cared about how spectacular it was. That is my commitment reflected in their hearts. Boom, Rusev. Now what? It's easy to be a sole victor of a battle royale. You do what you did. Run away from the heat of the action. Hope no one notices you cowering in the corner. The real superstars are the ones who dive straight into the mix. They don't size up their opponents. They get in there. They get their hands dirty. And what do you think your boy did? There are a lot of variables in a fight. My training, your training, my mood that day, your mood that day. The list goes on and on. But the one constant that I know is behind me, like an indestructible and eternal wall, is this crowd. Each person, each one of these seats is the brick to the wall. And our love is the mortar. Ooh, Jeff Milano really throwing it down right now. Yeah, let's show some love. Look here, I would not trust my back to anyone else, collectively or individually. You came out here calling me fake, saying I'm so full of it and my eyes were brown. Well, you could take the truth bombs back to the locker room and sulk in your own sweat and stink. The crowd is my family and I've got their backs too. Jeff Millennial just absolutely throws down a domination of sorts against Rusev. Alright guys, we must have had a great promo. We unlocked fan favorite level 3. You gained a buff which will take effect in next week's promo. The bonus points you earn when quickly making the promo selections will increase. Hell yeah. Todd's looking great. I'm feeling great. What do you got to say, Todd? He slapped me on the chest again. That might be a good thing. What do you got, Todd? Nicely done, man. That was well done. Yep. Uh, we will not see him again after my sharp cuts. Make sure your tongue can take it. I'm sure that's an insightful and pithy thing to say, but I got to admit, man. Strange image. But I think the WWE Universe is latching onto you. Hoops of steel and all that. You'll be alright. Keep doing you. I'm gonna do me, Todd. I'm gonna do me. We'll see you later. Well, guys, because of you getting some bonus content, I'm gonna leave you on a cliffhanger again. I'm sorry. I'm gonna leave you here, guys, again. Thank you so much for dropping by. I hope you are enjoying my career mode. I'm having fun doing it. I haven't done a full one of these in a long time, so I'm hoping to bring that to you on the channel here. Thank you again. Hit that like button as hard as you possibly can. Lay the smackdown on it, if you will. Let's try and get 15 likes on this video. Can we do it, guys? Let's get these videos up there. All the MMC videos need your likes. We need your love. Just like the promo I sent, you guys are the rocks to Chef Tom and I's grind. Hit that like button. Show some love. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit subscribe. We're on the road to 1,000. We are so close to achieving it, guys. You guys are just subscribing every day. And it's amazing, and we cannot thank you enough for that. Make sure you hit notifications because YouTube's not going to send you all of our videos. And if you want to know, you got to make sure you got the bell on. So ring that damn bell, get the match started, watch the videos. Hope you're loving them. Share, leave the comments, guys. You guys are fire with those. We just throw it in there to make sure that you guys keep doing it because it makes us happy. So thank you. And uh, as usual, guys, below in the description, I left you guys all of our social media links. Nice and easy. Go click it. Go follow us. We are officially back on Twitch again. I did a little bit of a, a quick fix to get us on there. We streamed a little while ago. So thank you guys who came out. And, of course, shout out to our partners, Clutch Chairs and Sand Labs. We've got some promo codes for you guys below if you have any interested in their products. And Redbubble, of course. Go check them out. MMC merch is hot. It's pure fire. Get your hands on it. 
rep the merch, send it to your boys so we can show you some love on our social media page. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. We'll see what happens in Jeff Millennial's new vision for his career. Guys, thank you again. Much love and keep it. Nah, nah, you're thinking twirling? Keep it winning.